Let's take a look at one more example of a related rates problem. If at night a 6 feet tall man is walking away at 3 feet per second from an 18 feet tall lamppost, we want to know how fast is the length of his shadow changing. So here is a situation, we have a 18 feet tall lamppost, a 6 feet tall man who is walking away from it at 3 feet per second. The first thing to interpret here is that he's walking away at 3 feet per second. This is the rate of change that is given to us. This is his speed and therefore the rate of change of his position. So moving along a straight line, his position can be seen as a distance or sign distance to a fixed point on that line. The natural choice here is to see it as the rate of change of, of the distance between the man and the lamppost. So let's call that distance x. What is given to us is the speed of the man, in other words, the rate of change of x with respect to time. And this is 3 feet per second. This is constant. We want to know how fast is the length of his shadow changing. So of course, the first thing we need to understand is where is his shadow in this situation. Here is the light source, and so the light rays, uh, this light ray for instance, uh, reaches the ground. Those that are pointing further away, of course, reach the ground as well. However, this type of light rays would be intercepted by the body of the man. And this is why we have this shadow at its feet ahead of him. So, because we want to know how fast the length of his shadow is changing, the first thing we need is to introduce a variable for the length of the shadow. Let's call that S. What we want to obtain is the rate of change of S with respect to time. Now you see that everything is going to fit in this green triangle. What matters is the height of the man. And of course, we can forget about the actual lamppost and the actual man, and the situation is represented in this triangle. Now we have two quantities varying with time, x and s. We know the rate of change of one, we want the rate of change of the other. As usual, the first step is to find an equation that rela relates these two quantities, x and s, and then we'll differentiate with respect to time to get an equation that relates the rates of change. So we want to find a way to relate x and s. You see that in this triangle we have similar triangles. In particular, the ratio of this side, 18, to that side is the same, so it's 18 over x plus s, and it is the same ratio as the ratio of similar sides in the smaller similar triangle. In other words, the ratio of 6 to s. So we get that 18 over x plus s is equal to 6 over s simply using similar triangles. Multiplying everything by x plus s and s, we obtain that 18s is 6 multiplied by x plus s. Multiplying things through on the right hand side gives 6x plus 6s. If I subtract 6s on both, si on both sides, I'm going to get 12s equal to 6x. In other words, s is 6 twelfths of x, that is, x over 2. So we found an equation that relates x and s. From this, we want to deduce a relationship between the rates of change of x and s. To do that, we differentiate both sides with respect to time. And in this case, it's very simple, because we get the derivative of s on the left-hand side, and on the right-hand side, just one-half of the derivative of x. Since we know dx over dt, which is 3, we obtain ds over dt, which is 3 half in feet per second. This is how fast the length of his shadow is changing. Now we'll have a uh, last set of examples in the next video.